I can press H and see that it holds that actual frame. And you can adjust how long you want that to be. That's actually very handy. What's up, everybody? Here on the Danny Black channel, we do a variety of things. Sometimes I'm just here to share my infinite wisdom with you. Okay, maybe infinite wisdom is a little bit too much. But I have this YouTube friend, Gina Walters. Some of you might know who she is. She started using Final Cut Pro, the editing software on Mac. And what seems like every other day, she calls me with a question. Maybe not that often. I've been using Final Cut Pro for like 20 years now. Flex alert. Maybe you're new to Final Cut Pro. Maybe you've been using it for a while, but you never really considered doing this. This is gonna make your workflow and your time just super efficient. So for all the Ginas out there, this is for you. Ready? So if you have certain tasks that you do a lot, there's probably ways to make that a keyboard shortcut. So if you open up Final Cut Pro and you go to the top, it says Final Cut Pro, you click that, you go down to commands and you say customize. You can find the command that you want and you can just click and drag or you can put it like in certain spots where it's like with shift and command. However, for the remainder of this video, I'm gonna show you which shortcuts I've created and what they exactly do. I will make a downloadable link so that you can have all of my custom keyboard shortcuts. It is free, no strings attached. So go down to the description, click the link, download it. You go up to Final Cut Pro, commands, you can say import and you can find that and import that and then boom, you're editing the same as me. So I'm just gonna break this up into three categories, tools, speed, and audio. So let's start with tools. All right, now I'm down in this little part of the screen, but I'll show you everything here that I'm doing. Now, some of these keyboard shortcuts are already built into it, and they are great keyboard shortcuts that a lot of people don't know about. So let's just start with select, okay? That's A. Like, you have all these different tools, you, which you can see right here. Trim, position, blade, zoom, all that crap. A is select. So maybe you might have clicked a button and you're like, wait, it's stuck on this thing. It's just press A and you're back to normal. Obviously cut, copy, paste, which is command X, command C, command V. But what you don't know is if maybe you had a certain color grade, let's say on this, this one, I wanted to add a lot more color. So I boost up the color, but I want it consistent with this next clip right here. If I copy that with command C, I can come over here and shift command V and you can actually choose which attributes you would like to copy over. I could just say paste and voila, this one will be the same exact. So that works for all the effects, anything you have on a certain clip. By the way, we'll get way more deeper into this here in a second. I'm just kind of going through some of the easy ones. So the letter T is transform. And what that is, is if I press T, if you notice up here, this turns blue, which is that's the same, same exact thing. You're just turning that on and I can just e easily zoom and drag it where I want it to be. So now it's a, a more zoomed in shot. And then if I want to get back to normal, I press A. It's back to normal, okay? So the next thing that I use quite a lot, uh, lift from storyline. So let's just say if you want to move things around but you don't want to use that magnetic timeline, you can press the clip and press W, which is what I set for it and it lifts it off the storyline. So now I can kind of adjust that there. I can move things around it and everything else doesn't move in front of it. Also, super easy command, but probably one of the best ones out there is undo, which is command Z or Z, depending on how you say it. With Final Cut Pro, it's pretty cool because you can undo like up to like 50 times, I think, or maybe even more. But a lot of people don't realize that if you hold shift with command and Z or Z, that's redo. So you can actually bring something back Let's say you undo a lot and you're like, wait, no, no, that's too far. Redo, 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 redo. There we go. You might not have known that, but now you know. All right, so the next one that I find probably one of the most time-saving, I've set open bracket and close bracket for trim start and trim stop. So let's say if I'm editing this part right wait, here. Okay, that's where I want it to start. Instead of trying to like split it apart and delete or drag, I just press this little open bracket and it starts it right there. So I feel like I can better frame my shots, so. And maybe I'm done right there, so I press the close bracket and it closes it right there. So that, you will find that to be a very big time saver in the future, for sure, for sure. Okay, the next one is B for blade. So let's say you wanna cut something. Instead of going to all the buttons to cut it, you just press B, simple, press it and it's cut. So N, the letter N is for snapping. 
And what snapping does, you could also find it over here. If you're trying to drag something and it's maybe you're trying to get it just perfect on a certain spot and it, it's the snapping is on and it's in the way, just press N and it goes off and then you can easily fine tune it to where you need it to go. N for snapping. So I've also created the letter V to just disable a clip. There's audio under here and maybe I don't like the song, but I don't want to get rid of it yet. I just want it to be off. I just press V to make it go off and V to bring it back on. If I built up a lot of effects on something and it's kind of running the computer a little bit, but I'm not really editing that part of it, I can just highlight it and just press V and it's just disabled. Boom. And there we go. That is the tools section of it. So let's move on to speed. So I have it set so that the numbers at the top correspond with different um, speeds. So one would be 10% speed, so slow down 10%. Number two is 2x, so twice as fast. Three for 25%. Where that comes in handy is if you're shooting 120 frames per second and you want to slow it down to the 30 frames per second, but like slow motion. That's actually what 25% is, 25%. Then I press number four to go four times faster. I press five for 50% slower. I skip over to eight for eight times faster. I use that one quite a lot because I sometimes I just need to make it just speed up something really quick. And I just press eight. Another really important one is shift N. And what that does is it, no matter what you do with that edit, if you press shift N, it brings it back to normal. All the speeds and everything will just go back to normal. If you are a person that likes to put in freeze frames, the letter H is hold. I can press H and see that it holds that actual frame. And you can adjust how long you want that to be. That's actually very handy. J is reverse, so you can reverse the, the clip. That's actually how I have it on my, on my actual video. It's just a reverse clip. One more thing with this is speed ramp. So S is speed ramp. So if you want to start from, let's start right here at this sign. I'll cut it with B and I'll select this and I'll press S. And that actually gradually slows it to zero basically. So it gets a little bit slower. However long the clip is, it's gonna be longer and longer and longer. But you can also adjust that with this. Where I use speed ramping the most is a lot. Like if you hear how the song ends right here. I can actually click that a little bit right. I'll set it as its own little clip and I'll press S for speed ramp and listen to the speed now. And maybe uh, f you can fade it out just a little bit so it sounds a little bit better. When I go from a song to speaking, I try to like speed ramp it down to uh, zero so that way it just kind of flows into what I'm saying. I love it. I don't even know how I lived without it. Yeah, me either. So that's all of the keyboard shortcuts for speed. I hope you're still with me. I hope, you're, uh, hope it's not too confusing. Now let's go to audio, okay? So I have it set for D to detach. So let's say this- Before in the past, I'd shoot with the GoPro here. Okay, let's say I wanna detach the audio. I just press D. So now the audio is down here. So if I really wanted to start some of that beforehand, I can just drag it out. I shot, so Obviously that doesn't make sense for it there, but you get what I'm saying. Got it. Before in the past, before see how that sounded so much better within that I also have it so that the plus and minus are lower and raised volume so as you can see here if I zoom in so minus and plus you could see it actually changing up at the top as well so if I hit minus it goes down plus it goes up awesome right that's so easy because a lot of times you're editing and you're trying to change it with this little thing and it's, 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 sometimes you just can't, oh, it doesn't really go to the one you want. So just tweak it by pressing up and down or plus and minus. Also side note, command plus and minus also zoom in and out um, a lot easier. So then having said that, I also have Q set to quiet volume out. But then I have zero to just bring it back to normal, back to normal zero decibels right there. So Q all the way out, zero back to zero decibels. These are things I use a lot to make life a lot more efficient. All right, only a couple more things here. Range. So let's let's have a quick look here. 
let's just say this maybe this way that's a better shot. this bit I want to turn down because it's a little bit loud you press R and you can actually select a certain range that you want and then within there you can just press the minus button or the plus button depending on if you went louder or quieter and then if you zoom in a little bit more you can actually see that it, it created little keyframes and you can adjust those keyframes so that you want it to be more of a smooth transition back to normal or you want it to be more harsh and just cut off right there but then also if you press the letter k you can create a keyframe you can be like okay the louder there let's go here press k this one should be a little bit quieter if you don't like a keyframe you can either right click and say delete keyframe or you can click on that keyframe and say command k and that will take take it away that's it that's uh that's all of the keyboard shortcuts that i've created to make life a lot easier if you want to download that it's free to download it's for all those genas out there that are looking to make their editing a little bit more efficient probably didn't know some of the tools that you could use and i hope that helps but subscribe to the channel if you want to uh, see more different videos coming out all the time here my name is danny black and i'll see you guys later I'm literally doing this just to help all those genas out there that, that, um, it's like, it's like, what is that other name? Karen's. <laughs>